You're watching Transfiguration Today, your source for news from our church community. Hi, welcome to Transfiguration Today. I'm Dan Blankowski. Thank you for clicking on us today. We have a summer crop of seminarians who have come into Transfiguration. We'd like you to get to know them better. Spending the summer with us are Deacon Juno Melvi and Carlos Cifuentes. Deacon Juno was just ordained to the transitional diaconate, which means he'll be ordained to the priesthood about a year from now. Carlos is studying at Mundelein Seminary in Illinois, and he has already survived a trip to Six Flags with Christ Team. We asked them both about their expectations for this summer assignment. As I come to realize, it's a very lively parish that's never sleep. So I really look forward to help in any way I can, from parish ministry to hospital works, communion call, and serve in any dimension I can do. I want to learn many, many things as much as I can. I want to improve my English. I want to work with the American community. I do want to learn sign language. I'm working on that right now. I grow in my spirituality and in my service to the community. One great way to show your support for all of the seminarians of Atlanta is at the Seminary and Mass at Dinner on July 11th. It's sponsored by the Knights of Columbus Transfiguration Council, and the evening consists of a Mass at 6.30 with Bishop Zarama, an after Mass, a nice sit-down dinner in Bishop Hall, where everyone gets the chance to know our future priests. The Mass is, of course, free, and we encourage everyone to be here for at least the Mass to pray with and for these men. Tickets for the dinner are $30, and all of the proceeds go directly to the seminarians. Summertime here at Transfiguration's Christ Teen means mission trips, and the first of the three trips just came back. Forty-six of our teens and the chaperones spent a week in Jackson, Mississippi at the Catholic Heart Work Camp. During the day, they worked on minor home repairs for those in need, and in various summer programs for kids or at social service centers around Jackson. Because of the devastation on the Mississippi coast, many local charities have suffered because resources have been spread so thin. These mission trips are a powerful encounter with God, and one of our teens shared her experience with us. Like, I love to join people's eyes when they came and when they were thanking us for, uh, for painting the, uh, their houses, helping them clean. It was really amazing experience, and, the, and you could feel the spirit. Coming up next for our teens, trips to Nashville, Tennessee, and to Nicaragua. One of our summer camps here at Transfiguration has just wrapped up. Play ball camp was held for eight sessions over three weeks. Kids learned to develop their baseball, tennis, soccer, and basketball skills. And play ball will have another session for preschoolers every Friday starting in the fall. For more information on how you can have your kids be a part of this fun and educational program, just contact Connie with play ball. Well, it might only be June on your calendar, but the Religious Education Department is already looking forward to the fall and seems awfully early, doesn't it, Joyce Juris? Funny you should say that because it's not that early. It's almost July and classes start in August. And there's a lot to get ready. So we want to make sure that every class has two teachers. So you can see our little window here and there's a lot of blank spaces that we need teachers. We need a lot of teachers. So you may be home thinking, that's too bad they need so many teachers. But I'm saying, you should be one of the teachers because we need you. And that's why you need to sign up now because there's lots of opportunities for you to prepare to share faith with our kids. We have all of these classes. So if you would like to come to a class to update your own faith before you teach the kids, you can come and they've already started. So now's the time to sign up. We also have this awesome catechist day that we are lucky to host at Transfiguration that over 700 catechists from around the archdiocese come to and that's on August 24th so you want to get that information put it on your calendar so you have to sign up now. Plus we're just starting to send out letters to people who are teaching so that they can start to prepare over the summer. So you may be home thinking wow I don't know if I could teach but we have lots of resources. We have catechist books that give you a recipe lesson plan on how to prepare the lesson so that you can teach it to our kids. So our theme this year is open the door of faith. Here's our door. 
We can't open it yet because we don't have enough teachers to open the door of faith for our kids. So please email me, call me, come in and visit, and we would love to talk with you more about the possibilities of sharing faith with our kids. Thank you and God bless you. Amen. Well, that's it for another edition of Transfiguration today. Thank you for clicking on us and thanks for sharing us on your Facebook page or emailing us to your ministry. That would be awesome. Thanks to Matt Calvo, our producer and director, and our fabulous staff, Tiffany and Casey. We'll see you back here again with a fresh new edition on June 28th, my birthday. You don't have to bring presents. I'm Dan Blankowski. Have a great day, everybody.